In my opinion, every day is Earth Day, but we get an opportunity to celebrate it so that everybody, hopefully around the globe, can take one day to fully appreciate the versatility and the beauty in life that we have here on Earth. Earth Day really provides an opportunity to get more involved as an individual and find out more about what like organizations or companies and those types of things are doing. Essentially, what we've done as a School for Climate Studies space as we participated last week in the Sustainability Expo. And then as an SDG exec, um, we've been very involved doing lots of events this week. Um, our most notable event, um, we hosted a clothing shop on, on Wednesday and it was very, very successful. Lot of, lots of people turned up. Like there was a great, great um, turnout. So that was really cool. And that obviously promotes circular economy, um, you know, reduces consumption, all that good stuff. That is one of the SDGs. Um, and then we've also, we're also hosting a river cleanup. So those are our two main events. We have been um, in collaboration with Ego Martis in a, in a very strong sense, but we also hosted a climate change, a climate justice workshop on Monday. We are promoting tocos at the moment and we have recently won the carbon capture competition, which is great. And that's, that's the main way I'm promoting the whole movement at the moment. Tokos, a, it's a digital currency that helps you move carbon dioxide from the atmosphere every time you spin. Um, and so it really puts the power of climate action into the hands of anyone. I think it gives people an opportunity to take meaningful action every day, every time they spin. Um, and, and, and kind of what better way to address the issue of climate than with money, L literally investing in, in the planet and the future. We are attending some of the Earth Week events that are going on. And there was a clothes swap, which is nice. So instead of like buying new clothes, you get to swap and get some clothes that you want. I don't support fast fashion anymore. I only thrift or swap clothing. I also try to show students that even though you are a student, it's very easy to live sustainably. I think tonight is a night market and that we're going to attend. I'm going to get some guys from Vesta to maybe purchase some items. This is an installation on Cape Biodiversity. We have a land series here and then at the back we have a marine series. We sort of made a fun activity out of it to enter a raffle we engaged some of the students and tested their species knowledge, asked them to attach the labels to the appropriate animals and um, making it a sort of fun interactive game like that has definitely, has definitely incited the most engagement with students on campus and, and I've been very impressed with the interest that we've received so far. So what I'm seeing here today with the, the box installation, but also with Togo, there's been a lot of interest from students. I've come to realize recently that more than anything, it's not kind of bad people out there consciously impacting the environment in the way that we do collectively. It's people that are simply uninformed for the most part. So that's why I took this opportunity during this week to raise awareness surrounding environmental sustainability. That's really my takeaway today is people and students are keen to get involved.